Hello, welcome to my channel, So the Gift of Power. And if you find that this is really resonate with you, please hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you ne never miss out any of my uploads. If you are a returning subscriber, gang gang, you already know what it is. Welcome back, y'all. You already know your girl saves some of the cards and shuffled over the decks. If you're inquiring about personal readings, everything is listed down below in the description box. Without further ado, and further more, we're going to hop right into it. Why do people feel like you're out of their lead, Power One? What is it? Why do they feel like you're out of their lead? You know? So we're going to get into, I will be doing general readings later on. So, you know, I'm still going to be doing those. So still look out for those. But yeah, why do people feel like you're out of the lead? So we, okay, starting off with the Oracle, we have firm boundaries and more options. Let's get into this. Okay. So the reason why people feel like you're out of the lead starting off power one is the simple fact that you are somebody that has firm boundaries. It's, it's this energy where people know they can't play with you. It's this energy where they know they have to come correct or get rejected. You know, it's this energy where they know they have to, you know, they can't come 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 towards you with that bull crap you know so this is another reason why people feel like you're out of their lead you won't put up with certain stuff that maybe other people will put up with you won't put up with certain things from certain individuals you can be a very mature person for some of y'all you're like a very fun giddy person but you're very mature like you have like this childlike energy about you where you're, you're still fun and not literally above but you're mature you know people gotta handle you a certain way you know they're not about to be just just be treating you any kind of way you definitely stand in your power you definitely you definitely stand on respecting me like people you don't really have to be like oh you have to respect me I'm, I'm getting that Nicki Minaj if you don't like me that's fine but you will respect me okay that's what I'm getting so people will respect you okay so this is another reason why people can feel like you're out of the lead how much respect you receive by other people how the simple fact that they know that they can't come and come to come with you on that bull crap they know that's not gonna work with you you know um another thing i'm getting is we have more options so another reason why you are out, um, out of people's league or people feel like you're out of their league is because you're somebody who have a lot of options in life you have a, a lot of options in in love you know it could be people feel like you're out of their league because you have so many people after you so many people are in your dms for some of y'all people can feel like a lot of people are attracted to you a lot of people find you to be eye candy and that can make somebody feel like you're out of their league because they may feel like you have a bigger impact you may have a bigger social life Life. um for some of y'all can even be as far as like what you do for work you know you may have more opportunities or you may have more options when it comes to work or creativity or certain things like that and people can feel intimidated by that they can feel like you're out of the lead because they may not mesh up to, to that or they may not feel like they have to, what it takes to offer you something for some of y'all people can feel like they don't have what it takes to offer you um they don't feel good enough you know they don't feel like they have what it takes to offer you what you're looking for so this is another reason why you are out of people's lead you are somebody where you have a lot of options in life you know you you have a lot of people like you a lot of people find you to be attractive you know you have a lot of options when it comes to your career you're very creative some of y'all like multitask it multi multi-talented you could do a lot of things like y'all have more than two to three talents for some of y'all and this can really intimidate certain people this is why they can feel like you're out of their lead because they may feel like they don't measure up to that or you know you won't even blink their way that you won't even look look in a direction so yeah um for some of y'all the firm boundaries being here and more after you can even be somebody where it's like you are very unattainable you could be somebody where it's like you do a lot but you don't say a lot so for some of y'all you could be the kind of person where you don't really brag about what you do you kind of just do it and let it talk for itself and that could be kind of um people could feel like you're out of their lead because of that because it's one thing to hear somebody talk about what they're doing but you actually just do it it's like damn like they're just doing it like they're not just speaking like they're doing it they're actually doing it you know so people see this firsthand so why do people feel like my power one? Why do people feel like my power one? I don't. Oh yeah, we got the ten of wands being here, so people could feel like you somebody where you have a lot of responsibilities for some of y'all you could be somebody where you have a lot of things that pulls on your energy um you're tied to a lot of things you could be somebody that's a hard worker and that could be intimidating for some people they could feel like you're out of their lead because you somebody i'm here to this the really not a stop watch shit don't never stop yeah so i'm here like shit don't ever stop for y'all y'all always you know on the grind you're always hustling you know you always in your power you're always trying to better yourself and people could feel like you're out of lead out of their lead because they could feel like that's too much they could feel like damn that's too much for me to uh it's too much some people can feel like you're too much responsibility power one um regardless of that the case or not you know people can feel like you're too much responsibility and that's why they feel like you're out of the lead you could be somebody where for some of y'all this not this not gonna resonate for everyone but some of y'all you could be like for instance whether you're a man or a woman does not matter you could be like somebody could feel people could feel like you can overwork them or something like that like for some of y'all people could feel like you can outwork them like or like your creativity can outcreate theirs i don't know why that's coming through with this ten of wands but that is here because wands does talk about passions and things like that 
you know so that's an um another reason why people could even feel like that and feel like you're out of their league because you can outwork like for instance whether whether i'm gonna just break it down and you know give y'all an example y'all put it how it applies to y'all the example i'm getting is say you like a woman and you know you in a career field you may be able to you may be have more drive than somebody that wants to come towards you or that may be attracted to you you know or a male vice versa you know you can have the type of drive and people are noticing like damn i like that i don't have that you know i don't have this or that you know so people could feel like it's a lot of responsibility or they'll be burdened for some of y'all people could feel like uh they they will they would burn themselves out trying to prove a point to some of y'all people feel like they have to like I mean, with this ten of wands it's almost like people almost feel like they will be burnt out trying to catch you or burnt out trying to like get you you know like people could feel like with two power one getting you is like a game like a maze game like they gotta go through a wipe out obstacle course before they can you know get to actually having you people could feel like it's a lot of work when it comes to you you know um if some of y'all it's 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 off of your work whatever you do whether it's work whether it's how you act whatever you do people could be feeling like damn i don't measure up to that you know so they could feel like you're out of the lead. They feel like they would have to, yeah, we got the sun card being here next to the ten of wands being here. Yeah. So another thing is you are somebody where you're very happy. You could be somebody where you don't give up in the things that you want. Um, People can find that to be intimidating. They could feel like, feel like you're out of the lead because of that reason as well. People can also feel like they would have to work a lot or give you extra just to get a response for you so yeah for some of y'all this is why people feel like you're out of the lead people are viewing you as somebody where it's like if i want power one i don't have to do this and this and that just to get power one like people feel like they would have to go through a lot they would have to just i don't know people just feel like they would have to go through a lot to date you okay so we also got the um knight of swords in reverse yeah, so for some of you guys, and ooh, and we got the three of pentacles. So for some of y'all, another reason why people feel like you're out of the lead for some of y'all is for some of y'all, you could be somebody where you finish things that you start. Like if you start a project or you're working on something or you're collaborating with people, you finish what you start. For some of y'all, you working on something when it comes to other people. For some of y'all, um, you do you um, or, or like working with other people or anything like that as far as like group wise or like at a job or whatever. People can honestly feel like you're the kind of person where you find solutions for things. You come up with answers for things for some of y'all. And this could be why people feel like you're out of the lead power one you are the kind of person power one where you can be having a lot of options and that can intimidate somebody because they be like damn they got a lot of people after them you know i'm intimidated by the competition i'm intimidated by trying to get them you know people can also feel like they will burn themselves out trying to prove something to you or i'm getting um i'm getting um little baby now and um I'm getting a little baby now and i'm getting um what's it what's his name i'm getting something approved by little baby y'all so um, I forgot who sung song that with him. Yeah, 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 we pay. Yeah, 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 we pay. Okay, yeah, that's what's coming through, y'all. Little baby, um, son approved. Yeah, so some of y'all, I'm I'm hearing you, Paul. Let me get into this energy, power one. Power one. With the three of pentacles being here, a lot of people want to work with you. A lot of people want to be in, in your circle. With the sun card being here, a lot of people are happy when you're around. A lot of people like having you around. A lot of people like collaborating with you. A lot of people like, um, you know having fun you know being around your energy you know you are really cool as fuck you got a dope ass personality you got dope ass um you a dope ass person another reason why people are feeling like you're out of the league is because they see this it's this energy where it's like okay i'm looking at power one power one is a hard worker they dedicated you like their things they won't they're a hustler you know i may not have the dedication or the drive that power one have i may not be where power one is or i may not have certain stuff to offer power one what they need because look at power one you know for instance that's like a you know it's like if you were hard working you work hard for the things you want power one about one and my bad power one so another reason why people feel like you're out of the lead power one is when you're going through something you always find a way out or you always find a solution or you going through stuff and you have a lot of burden burdens on you you know that you will make a way you know that there were um it's a better you know better day coming you know or there's better things ahead of you and with the sun card being here that's something that you intuitively know so some some of y'all people can be intimidated by your faith your faith is another reason why people could feel like which is crazy but another reason why people can feel like you're out of the lead is because of your faith you knowing that you go make it some of y'all you believe in yourself like if you especially if you like somebody where you're small or whatever you had that energy about yourself where you're like very big like some of y'all you treat yourself like you a celebrity or you treat yourself like you're very big even if you're not and that's another reason why people can feel like you're out of the lead because they could be they feel like it's for some of y'all you you're very confident with the sun card being here you're very confident you know you look good you know you smell good you know um 
you you already know this type of shit so it's this energy where people could be intimidated by your faith you know they could be feeling like damn like power one no shit could work out for them you know and they could feel like you know that's why you out of their lead you know that's crazy reason right but okay let's get some more messages okay we got the knight of wands um and oh for some of you guys you won't with the nine of wands in reverse for some of you guys another reason why people feel like you are out of their um lead for some of you guys or like yeah some out of their lead for some of y'all is the simple fact that y'all are not willing to compromise on your on what you believe in like for some of y'all it could be energy where people come want you like to uh bend your boundaries or bend certain things that you said you wouldn't do like it's this energy where people could like this is another reason why people are uh, feel like you're out of the lead. You won't bend certain things that you believe in for the people. Like if like certain say you like somebody or whatever. If this person like you, you like them. But you know, it's certain things that you know you have to have or certain traditions or whatever. Maybe this person don't agree with it. Maybe this person wants you to change um the way you do certain things. You like no, because that's going against what I believe in. So another reason why you are um people are intimidated by you. And the reason why they feel like you're out of their lead is the simple fact that you're somebody you won't bend your you won't bend your traditions, you won't bend what you believe in for them. You're not about to compromise your faith, you're not about to go against what you don't believe in because you like somebody or for somebody else. And people know that. We got the ace of swords. You are somebody where you could be very creative. You somebody with that you, you you yeah, you're very creative, you're very successful. Some of y'all you always got new ideas, you know, and that could be another reason again why your creativity people can feel like they're out of out of you that people feel like you're out of their lead because they can't produce what you can produce. Like for instance, if you are somebody you're very creative, somebody may feel like they lack the creativity like you and you're able to, you know, you know build what you want to build for some of you guys for some of y'all could be this energy or people could feel like you get a you're very attractive with the sun card you get a lot of attention a lot of people love you a lot of people like having you around also for some of y'all you could be this energy where you could be like the, i'm not gonna say center of attention but it's this energy where a lot of people can have a lot of love for you you know um you have that energy about you power one when you go amongst a crowd or you go in a crowd of people they seem to fall for you they seem to love you and i say fall from me they like being your friend they like associating with you they like your energy you positive you uplifting people really gravitate to uplifting energy even negative energies like any even the dark like the light you know what i mean so it's like this is why people can feel like you're out of their lead people can feel like they lack the idea they let to in, um um uh, some of y'all people can feel like they're not as smart you know they feel like they lack the creativity they let the idea they lack the solutions you know they're not able to be solution oriented like you so people really do analyze you a lot people really do pay attention to you a lot for some of y'all we got the nine of pinkles for some of y'all another reason why people feel like you're out of the lead is because you don't need them see this is i knew this where this was going i knew this where this fuck where this was going power one people feel like you're out of their lead because you don't need them you don't need them from validation you don't need them from money you don't need them from creative ideas you don't need them for solutions you know how like people do a group project and everybody hands on um everybody hands on and they do the group or whatever or whatever the case may be and everybody work on it you can get that shit done by yourself and get the same results as six people and this is not the reason why people can feel like you're out of their lead people feel like you're out of the lead because you good on your own you independent you successful um some of y'all you could have your own business for some of y'all you're a hard worker you um also you somebody where you invest your money into things uh or whatever you think about things in the long term especially with the um ace of swords being here nine of, uh, the nine of pentacles you're somebody um when you want to do something or when you want to invest in something or you have an idea you want to invest in something for something because some of y'all you could have like had a creative idea or whatever and you invested in it and whatever that whatever it was that you invested in is putting you in a nine of pentacles energy or is it going to start to put you in a nine of pentacles energy you know so this is why people are feeling like you're out of the lead you look good you smell good you're independent you don't need them for resources you don't even need people for validation which is you don't need them for validation is people can wonder like what can i offer power one they don't need me for validation they seem to be in love with themselves they seem very happy you know they very creative and very intellectual people can feel like you're smarter than them um people can also feel like you don't need them you know also another thing is again the, i'm getting solely really what it is power the really what it is power one it's a simple fact that you have to many things all in one i guess you know maybe you know too many things all in one and you know only the right motherfucker can handle that you know so we just weeding out the easy ones you know but at the end of the day power one it's this energy where people feel like they are out of your lead because they may feel like and then it's crazy because people feel like they may have to over some of y'all if people i'm getting this energy or someone say for instance i don't know about y'all 
but this do happen. Like, I don't care what nobody said because I've seen this happen, especially when I was in school. You know that one person you're in school where they don't have their stuff together, but they ask somebody else to get their stuff together. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody trying to get their stuff together to impress, impress somebody else. So people can feel like they have to impress you. People can feel like they have to stand out. People can even overwork themselves trying to trying to get your attention or overwork themselves trying to impress you you know instead of just being themselves another reason why you are out of people's league is because you're very authentic you're very authentic and the thing is between you and a people that feel like you're out of the league you're not willing to change yourself to fit them into your world but they're willing to change themselves to fit you in their world and this is exactly why people feel like you're out of the league you're not about to change yourself to fit in somebody's life if somebody don't like the way you look oh well if somebody don't like what you do for work oh well if somebody don't like how you speak or how you handle yourself oh well you're not about to change yourself to fit into the world but these people that feel like you're out of the league they can feel like they're they they doing a lot they're overworking themselves trying to get your attention they're overworking themselves trying to do things that they know they don't do instead of being authentic instead of just showing up authentic you know you may not be seeing these people because they're not being themselves they be trying to do things that you may think stand out it's the energy of people especially with the sun card being here trying to stand out trying to appear a certain way you know so this is why people feel like you're out of their league you don't have to do you you very authentic you being authentic paul one is why people feel like you're out of the lead they are not being authentic when they come to you they trying to do certain things to impress you they trying to do certain things to get to get your approval or to seek your approval the whole time you're not seeking nobody approval you being your fucking self and then and then at the end it all leads them to feeling overwhelmed stress having weight on their shoulders you know and with the ten of wands they can you know be going as all of the above doing all of this trying to get you uh trying to get your attention by one so this is why people feel like you're out of their lead i will put y'all some oracles day let me get some oracles why do people feel like my pile one is out of their lead why do people feel like my pile one is out of their lead okay okay Okay, we ain't gonna take all these, but we gonna take. Okay, we got value. So, see, you're somebody. You have a lot of value. A lot of value. You somebody where you can't just be falling in the lap of anybody's hands. You are very valuable. You are like one of them infinity infinity stones. That uh, what's that guy name that was trying to in fucking um Avengers? Yeah, we're here trying to get all the infinity stones. Yes, it's like you all infinity stones. You're not just one. You all of them. It's like you can't be falling in the wrong motherfucking lap, power one. You know what I mean? We also got positive shifts. See what I'm saying? You're the kind of person when you come into people live, you uplift them, you change them. You 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 have an impact on other people. And maybe other people don't have an impact on other people. Maybe they feel like they don't have an impact. You do. And it's crazy because that song card being there, I'm telling you, power when people really fuck with your energy, people like having you around. Strange. They be like, they be even like, damn, what power one at? Oh, power one, where power one at? You know, you have that energy with you. For some of y'all, um, another reason people can feel like you're out of least because of how beautiful you are. You somebody that's very, very attractive. For some of y'all, you do wear makeup. When you take that makeup off, baby, you still doing that shit up. You are somebody where you, whether you're masculine or a woman, you're very attractive. You look very handsome. And this is the reason why people can feel like you're out of the league. They may not have been with somebody that's fine to you or they put you on the pedestal because of your looks. Some of y'all, people can feel like you're out of the league because of how you fool you look. Some of y'all, if you older, you have not aged. And people feel like you're out of the league. Maybe they feel like they're aging. Maybe they feel like they're getting older. Maybe they feel like time is changing for them. Time is going by and you over here having fun, you know? We got impressive. See what I'm saying? Very impressive. You leave a really good impression on people. People definitely want to know more about you. People definitely want to, you know, see you again. You know, you had that, when I see you again. Okay, let me stop. But anyways, yes. We got self-aware. See what I'm saying? You're very self-aware of who you are. Very authentic. You don't need people to tell you where to how to go. You got this shit, but you got this shit handled, Power One. You got this shit handled. Some of y'all, you could have a really, really, really nice body, a really, really nice body, and that could be obsessed over you, yeah. Some of y'all, people become obsessed over trying to prove themselves to so y'all. keep getting a little baby, uh, and I forgot his name, but little baby, um, something to prove. I keep getting this energy where people trying to prove themselves to you, or, or and they're overworking themselves. They're doing all this trying to prove to you, trying to prove themselves to you the whole time. 
they just need to be themselves people can people can obsess over you people can obsess over your body as well you have a really nice body whether you're a man or a woman regardless of how your body look people feel like you have a really nice body they're very attracted to the way that you look so this is why people feel like you're out of your leap i want you finding the resonate hit the like button comment down below subscribe and hit the notification bell till next time peace love and light beautiful bigger bobe Bye. Welcome to my channel, so for you, the power to be part of this reading resonate with you, please hit the like button, please comment down below, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss out any of my uploads. If you're new, thank you so much for joining, I really appreciate you. If you turn to subscribe again, gang, I'm already back with another video, you already know what it is. So let's get into it. If you're crying about perseverance, everything is listed down below. And again, cards have been shuffled over and saved. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the notification bell. Loves. Let's get into it. Why are you out of people's lead? Why are you out of people's lead? Hey, hey, why are you out of people's lead? Okay, let's get into it, pal. Too. So some of y'all are like resonate for all yeah, what I'm about to say, but some of y'all, I don't know why this is coming through, but pal one was out of people's lead. Pal two, y'all may be this may be a uh, past people that feel like this, y'all, because we got a new baby, we got more income. So some of y'all, pal one was people being out of their lead. Y'all, y'all are out of past people's lead. In, uh, in other people of course but i'm getting where past people that y'all dated in the past people that y'all associated with in the past feeling like y'all are out of their lead they feel like they can't come back if they wanted to they don't even feel like they have you worth so much more than what you was worth then pile too so we gotta get into it the reason why i said some of y'all past people are feeling like you're out of their lead or whatever the case may be is because we have a new bay here with the new bay card some of y'all you could have just got to a new relationship for some of y'all you could be with somebody completely different than who you were in the past for some of y'all and then we have more income so some of y'all you your money didn't start again bigger for some of y'all your money about to start getting bigger for some of y'all you about to you know meet somebody new for some of y'all and i feel like when you meet somebody new the past person or whoever you was with in the past they're going to feel like you're out of the lead or whatever the case may be okay i got i love to see you walk away so for some of you guys mm -hmm. let's get into a well favorite okay so these are y'all oracles oh we got bad so some of y'all people feel like you're out of the lead for some of y'all because y'all are very attractive you look really good you're very well put together you know whether you're a masculine or a woman people feel like you find you very attractive and very appealing to the eye um people can even like to watch y'all walk away people can like to stare at y'all they stare you up and down so people can like to watch you from afar then come close to you for some of y'all they could like to analyze they like to admire you we also got well favored so some of y'all a lot of people can fuck with you a lot of people have a lot of love for you a lot of people congratulate you a lot of people really just fuck with you and your energy you could be somebody where people feel like you're very well favored a lot of people favor you a lot of things going to your way you know you get your way that could be another reason why people feel like you're out of their lead pile two is a simple fact that pile two i'm even getting that other people can see other people checking you out other people can see other people watching you walk away and stuff like that and that may make them feel like damn pile two got everybody watching them damn everybody want pile two everybody trying to be pile two new bay like that they, they could be intimidated by the competition they could be intimidated by seeing how much impact you have on people around you um for some of you i'm getting this energy where some of you i'm getting i don't know why i'm getting like smashing past but y'all know like them smashing passes and that it's like that one guy or one girl on there that everybody want to smash or something like that so that could be like another thing for y'all i don't know how that resonates for some of y'all but that could be another thing where a lot of people could want to I'm, I'm gonna say want to sleep with you but a lot of people can find you very attractive a lot of people you will be a lot of people's first choice like if y'all was in a group or setting they had to pick who you want to be with you'll be people's first choice and everybody kind of know it's like where everybody has that same thing on their mind it's the elephant in the room but everybody thinking the same thing it's like that so this is another reason why people feel like you're out of their lead because they see other people checking you out they see other people watching you walk away and do all of that they see how other people treat you how well favored you are you know you had an impact on people for some of y'all this is why you you know people feel like you're out of their lead now for some of y'all but this past person coming in for some of y'all you first for the ones i gotta whether you're in a new relationship or not for some of y'all if you are in a new relationship past people could feel like you're out of the lead right now they feel like you got more money than them they feel like you're, you're doing better you're in a better position in your life um, or some of you if you do have a partner your partner is treating them way better than what they treated you in the past so they feel like you're out of the lead now they feel like they they feel like if if I don't know it's this energy where maybe they left and or you left or whatever the case may be and you know it's this energy where they look back you know they look back they wasn't looking back to see how far they came along in their journey they look back to see where you're at and they realize your money's getting bigger you know you well favored um you're getting a lot of love a lot of support 
um a lot of people rock with you and i feel like whoever these past people is they could feel intimidated by that they could be like damn like such and such got a new part partner for some of y'all if you got a new partner for some of y'all your partner look better than your last partner for some of y'all or this part your last partner could or i'm gonna say last partner but i'm getting this energy where somebody from the past especially the ones that has a relationship if you don't have a relationship this not this part ain't gonna resonate with you but for the ones that's in a relationship or whatever with somebody new whether whether this is a new relationship from the past some of y'all you could be with this person for two years that's still considered new if you dated somebody from the past and it was before that you know what i'm saying so i just want to put that out there paths people could feel like you're out of the league some of y'all they can even be comparing themselves to the person that you're dating or trying to measure themselves up like you know certain stuff like that so take a resonate leave with dozen for some of y'all um yeah so let's get some tarot now let's get some tarot yeah see we said we got the four swords you know four swords talk about fear anxiety it can talk about being overwhelmed you know you have a lot in your mind so people can have a lot on their mind when it comes to you pal to a lot of people can have like an introspection when they come to you for some of y'all oh, another reason for some of y'all why i don't know why but some of y'all you can be planning your um some of y'all you can be planning for the future for some of y'all you know what i don't know what y'all planning for some of y'all but y'all could be planning something for the future for some of y'all and that could be another reason you know for some of y'all almost want to say wedding so some of y'all could be planning a wedding for the future not for everybody or whatever but that's for a few that's probably like 10 percent of y'all Oh, we got seven of wands being here. We got the four swords of seven of wands. Let's get into this energy, shall we? Okay. So another reason why people feel like you're out of their lead, pal, too, is the simple fact that you are somebody, pal, too, or you're planning for your future. You know, you're the kind of person where you like to plan things out, you know, when, or when you do plan things, you actually execute it, actually fall through, you know? So that's another reason why people feel like you're out of their lead. You somebody where you plan for the future or you somebody where what, what you're doing right now is going to impact the, ne the next five years of how your life look, and you know that. So you're doing certain stuff to set yourself up for that. You're doing certain stuff to impact your future. Pile one, I mean, I'm going to say pile one, pile so y'all may need to go watch power one but power two you do certain you you think ahead you don't just think like right now you think ahead you know and that's another reason why people can feel like you're out of their lead because you think ahead or for some of y'all, you have the king of swords. So another reason why people feel like you're out of the league is you're somebody we have a lot of structure. You're somebody who are very intelligent, very logical. Some of y'all, you have a lot of power. You know, for some of y'all, you could be even in um a, 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 a position or whatever where you call the shots for some of y'all. Um, but a re another reason why people feel like that, you know, people feel like you're out of the league with some of y'all because you're very powerful. You're very logical. You know, you have a lot of intellect. You're somebody that's very smart. You make rational decisions. Um, you somebody where you will put your foot down. You have no problem standing up with what you believe in. You have no problem standing up against people or standing up against others. This is another reason why people feel like you're out of their lead. For some of y'all, I ain't gonna cap. Um, for some of y'all, this is, I'm getting like a masculine energy for some of y'all. If you are a woman... There could be a masculine that may feel like you're out of their lead because they may not feel like they're strong enough for some of y'all. But this King of Swords and the Seven of Wands being here and the Four of Swords, it's not going to resonate for everybody. But some of y'all from our fellow women, there could be this energy where maybe a masculine may not feel like they can protect you enough or they may be fearful. I don't know. I'm getting this energy. It could be somebody where it's like they're fearful of like, like if you was to get into with somebody, this person will be fearful to handle the conflict or you know put their foot down the kink of swords or whatever and that could be another reason why because um seven of wands talks about standing your ground and shit like that so this is another reason why uh people could feel like you're out of the lead they could feel like you just you i don't know i'm just getting this energy maybe and this is like a masculine feel like this a masculine feel like this like i'm picking up a masculine so you know if you're a woman there could be a masculine that may feel like you're out of the league because they may not feel like they will be able to protect somebody like you on their arm like for instance if you are you could be very attractive you're very beautiful they may feel like damn like there's gonna be a lot of people that may try to threaten my position i may not be able to defend myself when it comes to that you know i don't know how that resonates for some of y'all but this is what's coming through um for a mask if this is a woman for some of y'all could be this energy where you know they could be this is energy where they can even feel some type of way about you being around certain energies. They may have some insecurities, you know, whether this is a masculine or a woman, they have insecurities. So this is another reason why people feel like you're out of the league. If you're a woman, uh, I don't, it's a masculine that may feel like you're out of the league because they may not feel like they have what it takes to have somebody like you on their arm. You could be somebody where you're very sought after, you're very attractive, you're not for the weak, and this person knows that. Vice versa, if you're a woman, I mean, if you're if you're a masculine and a woman could feel like you're out of the league, they may feel like... I feel like you're out of the lead. They even may feel like um 
They even may feel like they wouldn't. They're, it's this energy where somebody feel like their position would be threatened with having you in their arm. And they don't feel like they'll be able to keep up with that type of. I don't know. I'm hearing maybe you may be the first bad bad bitch or, you know, first really handsome person that they've seen or dated or got close to. So, thank you guys that we would does it for some of y'all. But this is another reason why I'm picking up on the specific energy. So, yeah, we got the Six of Swords. And Six of Swords talks about transition, moving to common wallets. And also talk about progress, moving forward, you know. So, yeah, see what I'm saying? Now we got the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords in reverse talks about missed opportunities, you know. or So, yeah. I'm getting this energy pile towards with the six of swords and the king of swords. No, I mean the nine of swords in reverse. It's almost like this energy where you moving on because the motherfucker and the people feel like they missed out on opportunity. For some of y'all, this X is coming through. Whether this is an X, whether this is a fling, whatever. But the six of swords being here in the nine of swords for some of y'all, somebody feel like you moved on to common waters. You walked away from them and they feel like it was a missed opportunity with the nine of swords being in reverse. And they feel like you're out of the lead now. So some of y'all, somebody feel like you're out of the lead. This is somebody that you dated before. This is somebody that had you in their grasp at one point in time. This person could feel like you're out of their lead now. Like maybe at one point in time, you was giving this person a time of day or you was giving this person attention or whatever the case may be, pal, to. And whatever, I don't know what happened between y'all, but whatever happened, you moved away. They moved away. Y'all both kind of just went y'all ways. Y'all went y'all separate ways, you know. Or some of y'all, you could have, it could even been a toxic relationship for some of y'all. Whatever it was, you decided to move and go your way and this person decided to go that way. This person is now feeling like it's a missed opportunity. This person wants to come back around, but this person is feeling like you're out of their lead now. They feel like you look better. Some of y'all that had a glow since then, your money bigger than since then. You got more. You got, you got you got more shit under your belt since then. It's an energy when it's this it's an energy where this person don't know the new version of you. This person will have to get to know who you are all over again, and this could be very intimidating to this person. This person could feel like you're out of the lead. They feel like you're worth more than what you was before when they actually had you. And they, it's, I'm getting like a house property, y'all. Some of y'all could actually actually be uh, own a house property or you do something like that and that could be intimidating to other people y'all could be like a real estate for some of y'all but i'm getting like a house where it's like you can have a house you buy it for a cheap price but in a couple years in the market that house is so much more money that you know the people that wanted to buy it they should have bought it when it was low because now it's a couple years later it's so expensive they can't afford it because the price of, a, of how much it went up so that's kind of what i'm getting with y'all pal so this is energy where and i'm getting past people but it's this energy where people are looking at you feel like you're out of the lead because you're you got more money now. Some of y'all you got a new significant other and they're comparing themselves to your new significant other. Um for some of y'all you have way more than what you had then when you was in other people's lives. Now that you have more, you know, they are feeling like they miss out on an opportunity to be with somebody it's so good, so great, you know? I'm getting like a celebrity vibe where all celebrities before they even come big, they're already big, you know. You already talented, you know. You don't you don't become big and now you're talented. No, you've been talented even when you were small, you know. So I'm getting this energy with the five of wands here. This person could want to end the conflict or they could want to end what y'all had going on for some of y'all. They can want to compromise. So for some of y'all, these past people that feel like you're out of the lead now, they want to come in, they want to talk to you, they want to compromise on whatever you was trying to get this person to compromise in the past, or, or whatever you're trying to get these people to do in the past that they was being rebellious to. Now they want to do it. Now they want to get their shit together. Somebody feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Now somebody want to get their shit together with the five of wands in reverse. Now this person want to compromise. Now they want to end the struggle. Whatever agreements y'all any whatever disagreements y'all had they want to let it go you know this person wants to get back into your good graces but this person feel like you're worth so much more now you know this person could even be afraid of coming back in for some of y'all or whoever these people is they could be afraid of coming towards you let's see what comes out yeah, some of y'all, we got a lot of pentacles out here. Y'all money is doing good. See, we got, see what I'm saying? Unis I, I can't make this shit up. We got the Ten of Pentacles here. Ten of Pentacles talk about unexpected changes. It could talk about financial disasters, you know. It could talk about even losing, like, a huge loss of money, lack of motivations, you know. Stuff like that for some of y'all. And we also got the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is somebody that usually holds on to people or possessions, you know, or certain things they really care about. It can even be somebody very stingy or see, even somebody that likes to be a hoarder for some of you guys. So, with the Ten of Pentacles being here and the Four of Pentacles being here for some of y'all, this person was not expecting things to turn out. This person was not expecting you to become the person that... You, see what I'm saying? I just can't. Every time I look at a new fucking car, it just gave me more reason to be like, see what I'm saying? Now we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. A dead horse. Ten of Wands in reverse is a dead horse. That's really what it is. Um, this can If Ten of Wands in reverse can even be, be an energy where somebody can want control over somebody else's life or, you know 
what they do and where they go and how they go you know what i'm saying so for some of y'all this the reason why people feel like you're out of the league the reason why these past people feel like you're out of the league or whoever this past person is is because you unexpectedly end up having some type of change in life for some of y'all when you was in this person life maybe you'd have had the resources that you have now some of y'all you blow blowed up for some of y'all your resources you got more resources you got more things your passions you know money starting to come in for some of y'all life is starting to look good for some of y'all this person could feel like it's completely over they feel like they don't have no way to like they feel like they don't have no way to like rebuild this connection between y'all because of what happened in the past. Yeah, see, we got the musician in the musician in reverse. I could talk about somebody having blunt creativity, somebody that's not learning past mistakes, you know, frustrated. This could be somebody that this person may feel like they're out for some of y'all. They oh, oh, power two. Let's get into power two because that might even just get into this is X power two. The sum of your whole reading power two, the real reason why you are out of people's lead, the reason, and I'm getting past people that feel like this. Power one was like people out of their lead, but y'all, it's like past people. And I'm not getting just lovers, I'm getting family, friends, lovers, all type of people. The reason why people feel like you're out of their lead right now, y'all, because this shit sums this shit up. With the musician card being in reverse, this sums this shit up. Some of y'all, these people feel like they're stuck. They feel like they're stagnant. For some of y'all, you... I can't make this shit up out to y'all have grown when i say y'all grown y'all have not did no little growth spur y'all have really grown y'all got your money together some of y'all putting yourself in better position some of y'all you have the creativity and the drive to put yourself into a better position to put yourself into the position that you want to be in life people around you from the past they're seeing this they seen that you're elevated they seen that you're getting bigger they seen that you're growing they see that this is happening for you whether this is an ex whether this is a past love whether this is past family these people are seeing you grow they are seeing you become bigger and better for some y'all these people could realize that they've been doing the same it's this energy somebody some of y'all somebody could be around you or i'm not saying around you, somebody from the path that you used to be around they could be having like a life crisis like a um what's that shit called a midlife crisis like somebody low-key power to see you this new version of you and i'm trying to tell you that shit just put them in a like a flip like I'm sorry y'all this readers all over the place i really don't know how to explain it as much as i'm trying to it's this energy where people feel like you're out of the lead because they you made the realize that they've been they ain't been doing shit pal too you made the realize they ain't been doing shit let's get into these cards we have the ten of wands in reverse we have the ten of pentacles in reverse the four of pentacles in the upright the nine of swords in the reverse the six of swords in the upright the king of swords in the upright the four of swords in the upright and the seven of wands in the upright and then at the bottom of the deck we have the musician card in reverse y'all are very creative you can create anything that you want in life you are somebody where again y'all have more income than what y'all had then these people feel like you're out of the league because they feel like you passed them and for some of y'all these people could have even walked away from you with the six of sword they could have even walked away from you thinking that they were going to go find better so some of y'all somebody tried to replace you and they could not replace you they couldn't replace you whatever you gave to them in life they couldn't replace it they end up looking back at your life you know looking at what you got going on and realize that you're in a way better position than what you was when you was with them some of y'all this really hurt for somebody for some of y'all because i ain't gonna cap for some of y'all i'm getting somebody can be sad they can be pissed some of y'all if whether you're a masculine or a woman if you are in a new relationship this is for the ones that's in a new relationship if you aren't in a relationship this is how this person or these people go feel when you get into a relationship okay but for the ones that's in a relationship with somebody there could be somebody from the past that feel fucked up over you they are fucked up over you i'm getting this as an ex a fling whatever somebody from the past they're fucked up over you the reason why this person is fucked up over you is because not only do you have a new significant other but you have more it's it's, it's this energy where it's like this person feel i'm getting i don't know why y'all but i'm getting like a taraji p, p. Hampson. what's that movie called leave that movie down below y'all that movie where um shit i can't even think of that movie where she ended up marrying that guy and he ended up cheating on her or whatever the case may be the long story short that movie she cheated um he cheated on her with some girl or whatever when she was in college um they end up getting married or whatever she forgave him she ended up crashing her car into that nigga rv next to you know um years years later she was working or whatever he had this dream or whatever he had this dream that he wanted to come true he had this dream or whatever he just stopped putting his energy into that dream so roger p has thought he was cheating on her so she you know decided to divorce, divorce him marry him he ended up meeting somebody else and the person that he ended up meeting was the same person he had met that he, that's the same person he cheated on her with 
the same person that he cheated on her with he met her years maybe like 10 20 years later and she was actually in a position to help him get his business up there or whatever and she did he ended up making a lot a lot of money and at the end to raj p himself wanted him back basically so if y'all know about the movie y'all know what to talk about please link that down below but y'all i'm getting like that movie like i'm getting like that movie the only thing is only difference between that movie though power two is this person could have walked away from you or if you walked away from this person i'm getting this movie where you could have blowed up you could have glossed up your money looking bigger with some of y'all you moved on into a whole new relationship a whole new connection somebody from the past feel like you just ran off of what was what was supposed to be there they're feeling like somebody else is living a dream that they were supposed to live that's what i'm getting somebody if you're dating somebody right now somebody else feeling like the person that you're with is getting everything that they were supposed to be owed to them whether this person cheated on you, whether, whether this is just how this person feel, or whatever the case may be, I don't care. Somebody from the past feel like whoever you're with right now, they're feeling like they're getting everything, everything that that owes to them, you're giving it to somebody else. So take a resonate, leave a dozen, babe. But this is why people are feeling like you're out of your lead. This is why past people are feeling like out of your lead. Some of y'all, you have had a glow up when it comes to your finance, when it comes to your money. For some of y'all, you about to grin and have a glow when it comes to your finances. And some of y'all, you're about to meet somebody new. You're about to have a new significant other, a new bae. And there's going to be people from the past that may feel like that like that dream that this person is living was supposed to be theirs i don't know how i don't want to spend too much time on that but this is what i'm seeing yeah see we see we got the five of cups sad lost grief despair being abandonment remorse regret heartbroken for some of y'all there's somebody from your past or people from your past they're heartbroken for some of y'all you have glowed up you bust up your money look better you got it you some of y'all y'all even in a new relationship somebody from the past or people from the past feel like the person that you're with you're giving them everything that was supposed to be owed to them they feel like you are living the life that was supposed to be owed to them i'm getting like a that whole movie set up i'm getting like a movie only thing is for some of y'all it don't even have to play out like the movie did. It's just energy where y'all could have left or y'all could have moved away from some toxic shit. Y'all got yourselves together. You in a way better position. Now that your life is happy and you living your life like you golden like Jill Scott. Everybody else from the past looking like that's supposed to be me. That was supposed to be me with power too and living that life. That was supposed to be me over there. You know? So they feel some type of way. Yeah, we got the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, we and we also got the Ace of Wands in reverse, feeling like they missed out on a potential opportunity with you. The Queen of Cups, they feel like they missed out on an opportunity to have real genuine love, real genuine success, a real genuine business partner for some of y'all. People really feel like, because we do got pinnacles out here, people feel like they miss out. Some of y'all, people can feel like, you're, feel like you're out of the league. Past people can feel like, feel like you're out of the league because some of y'all, you have like more, uh, you have more resources than what you had in the past, and now that shit is starting to work out for you. And the Six of Swords came out again again i didn't even have to i didn't even get a chance to put on oracles for y'all i'm gonna put a couple oracles but power too sorry that this was all over the place but this is why people feel like you're out of the lead y'all got past people feeling like you're out of the lead see we got it's hard to get your attention make me work for it yeah it's hard for you to get your attention past people they can't get back in your energy no more the door is closed some of y'all they feel there's no way to revive situations with you some of y'all you are in like a really good positive point in your life or things about to start picking up when you're about to start creating more money for the ones that single you about to end, end up meeting somebody completely new you're about to end up being in a relationship soon for some of y'all and it's going to be in this energy where people from the past may feel like that was supposed to be for them yeah we got love how positive you are uplifting yeah mm-hmm Let's see what else come out we got positive shift coming out we got charismatic breaking through getting over obstacles love at first sight chemistry yeah y'all about to meet somebody pile two for the ones that's single you're about to meet somebody new and there's gonna be past we see new bay again new bay that came out yeah some of y'all you are in a new relationship and there's somebody from the past or whatever the case may be they're feeling like everything that you're giving to this new person is supposed to be owed to them some of y'all you could be in a better position than what you was in the past and old family old friends could be like man if i would have stuck around i could have been there with them i could have been there with pile too you know now that some of y'all's energy people could have felt, felt like they were better than you and now you're actually doing better than them they feel like some type of way they're like damn that was supposed to be me i could have been there but they was too busy running a dick suckers you know what i mean anyways peace love and light beautiful bigger brother babe if you find this reading resonates with you hit the, hit the like button comment down below and if you're crying about personal readings everything is listed down below in the description box bye